Oh, oh yeah, there is one there more one gift. Why did you use so much? But wait, there is just <laughs> one more gift, my rye guy. What is this? What is this? I don't know. This? What's this? Interesting, what's, what's on top of that? What's on top of it? I don't know. Silver medallion. Silver medallion Delta status? First class. First class? What is in this bag, rye guy? Let's open this? this up. I am very Hold perplexed. Up. Hold up. What is it, no right guy? Freaking way. What is it? Are we going to San Francisco? <laughs> Me and you, bro. First class. Oh, I love you so much. Oh my gosh, right guy. <laughs> no, no. We got the, the Can I go in the suitcase? We got the Apple Watch. <laughs> we go. We're leaving this weekend. Friday after school. <laughs> Can I go in the suitcase? Hello and good morning, everyone. Guys, wait a minute. Good morning. Who is in the house right now? Student Council. Ryler Bingo. Wow. Got his new Student Council t shirt, his new Student Council Fletterman's jacket. This guy oh is God, a bosh. Sweet. Just so sick. But, guys, the reason he is home and no one else is home is because I just grabbed Rye Guy about 15 minutes early out of class. Huh? 20 minutes early out of class. Because we have got to head to the airport. Today is the day. I'm so excited for this. We are it's going to be San so Francisco. much fun. It's going to be amazing. Sorry, excuse us. It's going to be incredible just to do. <laughs> Mom, come in here. We're sorry. Mom has got to go pick up the other kids from school right now, but she wanted to give Rye Guy a big hug and a goodbye. I know how my Rye Guy just loves hugs. Cannot probably go the next three days without hugs, so we're glad you were here. Rye Guy, you need to go change, bro, into your flight attire. Go change right now. You need to catch a plane. Gotta you got to go pick up kids. Hugs, kisses. See the back of your Sure. Together, everyone achieves more! Which is the truth, people! That is the truth! Everybody Team mentality. Team. Okay, hugs, 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 hugs. Real ones. Love you, Mom. Bye. Tell the kids we love them. I gave them like a million hugs this morning. Huh? Did you say you're only gonna miss him? I heard that. I gave the kids like a billion hugs this morning. We were gonna video this morning, but the day just kinda got away. So there's a bunch of cute pictures on Instagram. This is how we bing them. Hazy could not let Dad go. Braxton was like, hey, just put time on my switch. Okay, see you later. Bye. Crew just being a great son. He's like, hey, we could like, you know, FaceTime or something. FaceTime sometimes. But then he's literally just like, or whatever. See you, man. <laughs> kids, you. gonna have a great time with Mom. I know it. We love you. Peace out. And they're gonna be doing a lot of their adventures on our Instagram yeah. at this is how we bring them. So make See sure you're following them. You are not going to Disneyland while I'm gone. You already did that. Love you, bye. We are doing that carry on life today. Now, I used to travel a lot for work. In fact, the job that I had right before doing YouTube was for a place called Vivint Solar. And I traveled a ton, like all over the US for sure, a couple international flights. And we would only fly carry on. In fact, it was like if you brought a check bag, it would just send you back to the office. It was carry on or nothing because we had to be quick, nimble, agile on the road. But it has been a long time since I've done that. So as we were packing up our stuff last night, we we're putting together our toiletry. And I was like, wait a minute, you can't have anything over three ounces. So getting used to that right now, I went and got Rye Guy a bunch of really small stuff. So that's okay, because that's not liquid. You could take that if you wanted to, but I did get the travel one. Some of his hair gel and stuff. I got a little teeny mini squirt bottle thing you can put stuff in. I got him a little mini toothpaste, travel size, everything. So we've got everything travel size, so we can throw it in here, throw it in that bag, and we need to get going. Hand sanitizer for the road. So we are flying first class today on this flight. It is our first time doing that. It's just gonna be kind of fun. It was something that I wanted to do with Rye Guy. It's much easier to do when you've only got two of you traveling. Plus, on a short trip like this, price difference was really not that much. Something cool that happened this year because as you guys know, we have been doing quite a bit of traveling this year, but the entire family has earned silver medallion status on Delta. So a little hazy as silver medallion status on Delta. So they send us all these fun little luggage tags and baggage tags, but that also means sometimes when you book like a Comfort Plus or some other main cabin ticket, you could get upgraded to first class, which is what happened to Dan and Shell. If you guys watched our Turks and Caicos flight out there, they were upgraded to first class on that last flight out. So there are times that we may be booking the normal tickets that we book and get bumped up to first class, but it's going to be pretty unlikely, pretty rare that they'll be able to bump up six or seven people into first class. Pretty awesome that all six of us in the family, Maddie was short one trip. She'll get it, I think, just before she leaves on her mission, but made it to silver medallion traveler status with Delta. We do love Delta. It also means that we don't have to pay for check bags anymore, which is ironic because this is our first trip without even checking a bag. That's a nice little feature as well, but I'm going to get these little silver medallion tags that they sent us. They're little luggage tags that are attached to our Sky Miles number and put those on our bags for the flight. Rye Guy's changing his clothes. He wanted to wear something a little bit fancy. He wanted to dress it up a little bit for the first time in first class, so I ran into my brother on my way to go pick up Rye Guy, and he's like, this is the first time I've seen you not in a merch t-shirt. What business meeting are you going to as well? Rye Guy wanted to fancy things up for our first first class flight. So here comes Rye Guy, dressed right on cue. Look at that, see we both got the little collared shirt on, feeling fresh, feeling fancy. Hey bro, are you ready to rock? Everything packed? We just got a carry-on and a personal item. I've got, both of us have a carry-on, that's all of our stuff. And then I've got the big vlog camera bag. You've got this one for fun. Switch. I think we're ready to rock, dude. Oh yeah.
We are here, we've parked, we're about to embark on our adventure. We are so pumped right now. We're just going through all the things because we travel a bit and so we got the whole process down pretty well. And I just was picturing as I was throwing my fanny pack because that's how I roll fanny pack life. I was like, okay, now when we get up and we check in our bags, I've got my password available, I got this. And I was like, wait, we don't even do that, dude. Yeah. We're just gonna walk straight through. So the first thing we do, TSA, both of us got the TSA pre-checks. So we're gonna be able to go straight through that, straight to the airport. We're actually here probably a little bit earlier than we need to be, yeah. but that's okay. We can kind of hang, chill out. That guy wants to see if we can go find like the Delta Sky Lounge or something. <laughs> Maybe they'll Why let not? us in there. <laughs> we'll see if we can get in there. But we've arrived, we've parked, we're about to go straight through the airport, right to our plane. We have made it through security successfully, quickly. It was fantastic, it was amazing. We're waiting for the flight. It's been delayed twice now. Just like little 10 and 15 minute delays. So it's leaving about 35 minutes late, not a huge deal. Yeah. Think we're gonna be fine. So we grabbed a bite to eat, got some delicious Mediterranean rag. I got this sick, I don't even know what you call it, but it's basically a burrito. There I got a go. Euro. We're gonna sit here and eat, and then we should be leaving. Uh, hopefully get on the plane in about an hour. Yeah. about to board the plane right now. We are super stoked. I wonder if I got to have a really rad, fun experience. So he's always wanted to fly in first class. He watches a bunch of videos about it. He loves watching those flights on YouTube. He's seen his uncle Sean and his aunt Dan and Shell do it. So and cool. His aunt Dan and Shell, Aunt Michelle and <laughs> Uncle Daniel. So today we are seats 1A and 1B. Unless we were flying the plane, we couldn't be any closer to the front. <laughs> Unless you're the pilot, bro, you're not getting any closer to the front. Oh so God. about to board right now. First time ever boarding with the first class boarding group. First time ever flying first class. Yeah. Are you ready, dude? Let's do this. I think it's gonna be pretty sick. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Bye, See you later. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, bro. First one off. Let's go. Sure. Woo! Good. Feels good. Nice here. Dry guy rolling first one off the plane. Seats 1A and 1B. We sure. got a cool thing we got to tell you guys all about. Dry guy got a birthday present from the flight attendants on Delta today. Well, we had to tell you guys all about what just happened. So right before we got off the flight, the flight attendant came up and gave Dry guy this card. And it says, thank you. Happy birthday on it. Then it has this incredible note that tells us, thanks for flying and choosing to fly with Delta on our birthday. Signed by the entire flight crew. And then they built a birthday present out of this <laughs> and put bows on top with Delta flight wings. How freaking so sick, sick. Is that, We literally could not believe it. Like we were just giggling because first of all, Biscoff cookie is probably our favorite part of any oh, Delta yes. flight. Oh. Second of all, right guy said this, best flight experience we've yes, ever had. that like, was so fun. Best flight attendant ever. Seriously, ever you guys. Yeah. So very, very cool. The entire flight crew signed this birthday card for Rye Guy. He wrote this yeah. really nice note to us and then wrapped up these Biscoff cookies in a present. So Dude, sick. That is so <laughs> rad. Okay, we've arrived. We're here. Let's go get our car. Show everybody where we'll we're driving. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. What do you think, bro? Will this Love do? It. Will this do, bro? Oh, yeah. <laughs> we got Ford Mustang convertible for the weekend. Top's gonna be down the entire time. We're yeah. taking this thing over the Golden Gate Bridge. We're taking this all around San Francisco, baby. This is going to be epic, bro. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, right, guy. You gonna do it? Yep. All right, bro. Let's put this top down. Well, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready to oh roll? <laughs> Let's go, baby. Let's go. San Francisco, here we come. Yeah, all right, guys. Welcome to San Francisco, bro. This Let's is how go. we roll in the SFO. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Yo, right, guy, dude. Are you ready? Let's get it, baby. Woo! I can't wait to take this thing under the Golden Gate Bridge. I mean, over the Golden Gate Bridge, but with no top on. Woo! Let's go!
just checking in right now. We're at the Omni. This place is so legit. Sick. It is so sick. We're on the 16th floor. I can't wait to see the view from the 16th yeah. floor, bro. So we dropped our car off at the valet. We still haven't eaten dinner yet. We're gonna go get checked in, drop our bags off, and then head back out and grab a bite to eat. gotta go see this view look at so we got double beds guys very simple room for me and my right guy but we did want the bigger tv because we plan on watching some sick movies together check this out dude Ooh. dude look at that holy crap <laughs> san francisco baby we have arrived <laughs> We have decided that we are just gonna go walking instead of driving for our dinner tonight because Chinatown is just right up the street. Oh, and we're yeah. kind of in the mood for some Chinese food. So we're gonna go get some good Chinese food up here. We also just saw the trolley car drive by and our valet told us that this month only you can just jump on and off for free. There's no charge, no worrying about stopping. Just jump on it, ride it for free and jump I off. I kinda wanna do that. So we're 100% gonna really do that. We might even ride it back down to our hotel. Let's do it. Why not, yes, dude? Yes, 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 <laughs> Why yes. not? All right, gotta go find some food. This is off to an amazing start, you guys. Oh yeah. We gotta walk backwards because we are right now in Chinatown. We're gonna be eating our first meal in San Francisco in Chinatown. Gotta find a place to eat. We're thinking of eating here, but we don't know how to yelp it. What do I look up? We are standing here at the edge of Chinatown right here. Just finished up an amazing, ultra authentic Chinese food meal. It's and so I would good. love to recommend the place, but I still don't know what it was. It was yeah. You don't know. Couldn't like read anything Hong on there. Hong Kong label something. It was fantastic. It was so, so good. good. So now what we're trying to do, if we can get lucky, because we want to get back to our hotel room. We got a fun plan for tonight. We're trying to catch a trolley, like one block away, like one light away. But yeah. we think it'd be fun to jump on the trolley and then jump back off. We're going to give it five minutes. If one shows up, we're jumping on. If it doesn't, let's walk down. Yeah. So far, dude, off to a good start on this trip. Oh, yeah. Everything from start to finish has been Flawless perfection. It has been so rad. Our first class flight, incredible. So Flight cool. staff, unbelievable. Yeah. Went right to our convertible, no problems. Took off straight to our hotel, checked in, 16th floor. Yeah. Walked a block to the Chinatown to have dinner. It has been an amazing kickoff to what's going to be an insane weekend. Oh yeah. Need you to come back. made it back to our room for the night. We're gonna call it a night. We've had the most amazing first day here in San Francisco oh, yeah. and we just arrived, guys. We've only had the night so far. We cannot wait to get the convertible out tomorrow. We've got so many plans, guys. We're hitting the Golden Gate Bridge, Fisherman's oh, Wharf. I don't remember what else is on the list. Tons of things. We knocked off the trolley car. We were able to get on the trolley car. That was awesome. It was so fun. One of the things that was on our list, high on our list, this is a little something that's like a family tradition, I guess you could say, but we do not watch PG-13 movies in our home until we turn 13. That's just something that my family did, so it's something that we passed on to our kids. So Ryler has never seen a PG-13 movie. Yep. So we have been planning since probably age 11, I don't know, age 12 at least, what we would watch for his first PG-13 movie. We're gonna watch it tonight. That's actually one of the reasons we got this room in particular because we wanted the bigger TV to be able to watch it on. What's the movie we're watching, dude? Ready Player One. For his first ever PG-13 movie, we wanted to watch together Ready Player oh, One. Yeah. It is a movie that takes place entirely in virtual reality, so it is very much up both of our alleys. One of yeah. my favorite movies of all time. I probably watch it, I don't know, five times a week. I will watch yeah. parts of that movie. I love Every it so much. Day. We brought an iPad, downloaded the movie. We've now hooked it up to the TV. So we're gonna wrap up our night with a little Ready Player One. Right, guys, first PG-13 going yep. down tonight in San Fran. Father-son trip off to a great start. Make sure you come back tomorrow. It looks like mom and the kids have had so much oh, dang yeah. fun. Make sure you're paying attention to the Instagram at this is Howie Bingham because she's posting a lot there. We're doing a lot of the vlogging while she does a lot of the Insta, but come back tomorrow for loads more fun here in San Fran. We love you guys. Thanks for hanging with us all day and thanks for all the birthday wishes for Rye Guy. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. What up? Good morning. Welcome back to another vlog. Not in the Bingham house. Yep. We're in the Omni Hotel in San Francisco, <laughs> oh, baby. Gosh. We are looking out at the city right now. Now, we'll be honest, you can't see much. Pretty yeah. foggy, pretty cloudy. The plan for today is to go across the Golden Gate Bridge. There's a cool lookout point. We want to get maybe some cool time lapses, take some pictures up there, just check out that view. But right now, I don't know that we would see anything. Yeah. One thing that I will say that we can see, though, we just found out Alcatraz Island is straight out our window. Yeah. Like, wait, what is that right island there. out there? You can just see. So I pulled it up on maps. It's Alcatraz right out there. Yeah. We are doing tomorrow, you guys. So make sure you come back for that. But today, the agenda.
agenda is Golden Gate Bridge, number one, Fisherman's Wharf, finish the day, go hang out there, get some dinner. We wanted to do trolley cars, a little bit more. We wanted to hit Lombard Street. That is the plan for today. But Rag Guy said that yesterday we did Chinatown, we did a delicious dinner, we flew first class, we checked into our hotel. What was your absolute favorite part of yesterday? I love the Mustang. I don't know why. <laughs> just loves driving so around fun. in the convertible. We're like, dude, who cares if it's cloudy outside? Who cares if we can't see the Golden Gate Bridge? Let's just go get in our car and yeah. drive around San Francisco. We're gonna go to the tops of the hills, go down these steep streets and just go hang. And then maybe if there's some cloud breakage or something like that this afternoon, we'll go to the Golden Gate Bridge. And Rag Guy yeah. said, maybe we do it twice. Maybe yeah. we go across, it's too cloudy, we just drive back and do it again later today. <laughs> so whatever we wanna do is what we're doing today, guys. Welcome back to San Francisco with us. Before we get started on our day, let's see what mom has been up to this morning. We came out for a little bit of fun today. We came up to Park City. We are going to do the Alpine Slide and the Alpine Coaster. We're so excited and it's so gonna excited. be so much fun. I got to get out earlier this morning and I went and did a race. It was just a 5K, but I had a lot of fun. Kruby held down the fort for me yeah. and now we are rewarding the kids with a little bit of fun in the sun up in the mountains. Oh, yeah. Boys are coming after us. Did you go super fast? Yeah, I held it down the whole time, except my arms got tired. got into the convertible. It is not convertible weather, you guys. It is so cloudy, it's kinda but cold. It's so we got hoodies on, but we don't care. We just wanna go have a blast. We're gonna go ahead straight up these steep streets of San Francisco right now. Hoodies on, cause it's like, I don't know, it's like 60. Yeah. But it's just cloudy. We're hoping it doesn't rain, but we're off to have a great time, bro. You ready? Oh, yeah. Let's, Let's go. This. Went down Lombard Street, that was awesome. Weather's held up pretty nicely. We only had to put the top up once for rain. Yeah. We are driving around looking at some stuff. We saw Koi Tower. There's this rad like pyramid skyscraper we can actually see out of our window from our hotel. And now my guy wants to go do a little bit of shopping and his friend has recommended what store? Supreme. Supreme. So we're gonna go to the, I don't know anything about Supreme. We're gonna go to the Supreme store in San Francisco. That's where we're headed next. Yeah. Just left the Supreme store. Rai guy got some seriously sick stuff. He got a dope white tee with a little Supreme logo on it. Yep. And then he got brand new black Supreme hat. You guys check that out. And here's what's so cool. Guy asked if we were visiting or if we're from around here. He said we're actually just in town for his birthday doing some fun stuff together. So we gave him about four of every sticker they had. He just loaded them into the bag. He's like, hey, have a happy birthday. Thanks for coming in, dude. That is so oh, cool. Man. We are now going to go ahead and find a place to grab a quick snack, a little bite or something like that. It's still super cloudy. It may never let up. So we're probably gonna head to the Golden Gate Bridge after we grab a quick bite to eat. I'm gonna go check that out. I think it's pretty common, pretty iconic for the Golden Gate Bridge to be completely covered in fog and clouds. That's yeah. just how it is. Having an amazing time here so far though, kicking it off with some uh, supreme souvenirs, if you will. Yeah. <laughs> So what we decided to do is go ahead and park the car, grab a snack. We were driving by all these fun high-end shops that we won't shop at, but we do want to go see them, like Gucci, Louis, I don't know how to say Bulvagari, whatever that Bulgari. one is. But we thought we would just park the car, grab a quick bite, wander the streets of San Fran. I do actually see the sun coming out though, bro. Check it out. Yes. It's lighter, brighter. Golden Gate Bridge coming up in a minute, but first, quick bite, some shopping. Well, browsing, window shopping. Yes.
We have done some shopping, some window shopping, some browsing. We picked up Mom a six souvenir, a Lincoln Navigator. We stopped oh. flying out of a hotel. But I don't think it's gonna fit my carry-on, so we're gonna have to leave it here. But you guys, we are now gonna head to the Golden Gate Bridge. The sun has come out. It's beautiful weather. We got the top down. We're ready to cross the bridge. Go to the viewpoint, check it out from there. I think it's gonna be pretty epic. I'm excited. San Francisco, baby. Let's go. Here we go, bro. <laughs> We've made it, dude. We have arrived. Just behind you is the Golden Gate Bridge. Honestly, dude, even though it's kind of cloudy and foggy, you can see it phenomenal yeah. here. Because we are pretty close to it. But you drive around this mountain, wind around, you come back down, and then you just fingers crossed that there's a parking spot. Because if there's not, you just got to keep going and loop it again. Yeah. We pulled up one spot right in the front. The view is spectacular, dude. That's so we take some pics for mom. She's always going to want the pics. Maybe get back in the car because it's yeah. freezing. <laughs> It is hard to beat these stunning views of the Golden Gate Bridge. This is unreal. It's cold, it's windy, whatever. It's a little bit cloudy, foggy, but it doesn't matter. We are having so much fun, you guys. We've had the most incredible experiences from start to finish on this trip. This is our only full day here. So we've done some shopping with Drag. I love some sightseeing, all of the things that downtown San Francisco has to offer. Came out here to the Golden Gate Bridge. The plan is to eat dinner at Fisherman's Wharf. Check that out tonight. This has just been amazing. It's been unreal. So Tomorrow, you guys, you're gonna wanna come back for sure because tomorrow you can't really see it. I can't see what I'm pointing at. But back over there somewhere is Alcatraz. We are headed to Alcatraz tomorrow. Taking a ride guy to prison. Inside of it. Inside. We're gonna take a ferry over to the island. We're gonna get a little tour of the inside of that thing. Also, whoa, we're getting blown off of the Golden Gate Bridge. We're gonna get blown away! <laughs> we're also gonna go to the Ghirardelli Chocolate Factory. Check that place out. So much more fun to come. Today has been insane. I think we're gonna go back to the hotel, take a little break before yeah. we head out tonight to Fisherman's Wharf. A little bit chillier than we were planning on out here by the water, but thankfully we came prepared with some nice hoodies. Yeah. So we decided tonight to head over to the Fisherman's Wharf. We found out that you can actually take the trolley car system all the way there. So we're gonna brave it. We got the awesome dude at the reception desk here at the hotel, kind of walked us through what we do. Two line, two car system. Take it up to Powell Street, up this way. Gonna get off at Powell. And I don't know if we just get off walk or if we just get on another one. But then we take that down to Fisherman's Wharf. We're gonna go to Pier 39. We're gonna go have some dinner down there. Hang out, go see all the sea lions if they're out there. Kind of yeah. chill in that iconic area to finish off our day here. We wanted to do it in true San Francisco style by jumping on a trolley car. Oh yeah. One small problem with our plan to take the trolley to Fisherman's Wharf today. It's free this month to kind of kick off the fact that the trolley's back, so it's very fun and that's cool and it's exciting. It's also a Saturday night, so the combination of those two things means one, we've only seen one trolley car go by, and two, it was completely chock full. I mean, there's no way I could even hang off the back of it. So we're gonna go have them get our car and we're just gonna drive. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you.
We have made it to Whoa. Pier 39. We've got a whole gaggle of birds flying around behind us. Not only that, we've got Alcatraz right there. Tomorrow, we are headed out there. I don't know how you get there. I think you swim is the idea. Ooh. So we're gonna swim out there tomorrow. There are sharks, but, the crew told me. Yeah, there are. That's what they would keep the people on the what? island, on the prison, is that there's sharks everywhere. I think that was part of it. Anyways, we're gonna go out there tomorrow, but right now, we need to find a place to eat. We are hungry. There's tons of great options here. So the mission right now, find some food. Yeah. You're witnessing right now, Rag Guy's very first ever fish and chips. We thought, do I do like a lot or like a little? I like a lot, but just start with a little and see how you like it. He's dipping in the tartar sauce. First bite of fish and chips in his life. Might be pretty hot. Okay, there you go. What do you think, bro? It's very basic. Uh, One of my introductions to seafood. Had it with my dad, I think, on a pier. So we are right now on Pier 39, Fisherman's Wharf, having fish and chips. What do you think, bro? Pretty good. Pretty good? Yeah. So we got a couple of fish and chips. This one's like a seafood combo. So you also got calamari, fried shrimp. We want to make sure we had a bunch of fish and fries. This doesn't work out. We'll, oh, that's calamari. Should I try it? Yeah, try it, dude. Too hot. It's too hot? Okay. The dessert choice was easy breezy because right next to where we had our dinner there was this Trish's mini donut So we grabbed a bag of those mini donuts right here But next to that was a waffle cone joint with ice cream So we're doubling down on dessert mini donuts and waffle cone ice cream although it is very very cold for ice cream. Yeah Yeah, thank you. This is how we bang them. Like and subscribe. So we ate. It was delicious. We had a ton of dessert. I don't know the camera. We had a ton of fun. Now I ask Rag always wants to do finish off the night. We saw, I think it's the Bay Bridge yeah. off to the side there, all lit up at night. So we're going to drive over to Oakland to finish off the night. <laughs> Check out those lights. <laughs> We are back at the room now. We are ready to close this day down. Come back tomorrow because tomorrow we are taking a ferry out to Alcatraz. I'm taking Rye Guy to prison tomorrow. Sticking him behind bars. He's been a bad, bad boy. Actually, <sighs> Rye Guy has been an incredible kid this entire trip. I have never heard him be more full of gratitude, thanking me for everything at every turn, every meal, every snack, every everything. Yeah. Thank you so much for this trip. It's the greatest trip ever. You're incredible. Well, it's been dude. a lot. It's been amazing. Top to bottom, start to finish. We still are not done. We do go home tomorrow, but it's tomorrow night. We got another yeah. pretty full day here in San Fran. Yeah. Then we yeah. return home to Utah to reunite with the family go and go back. To school. Guys. First, you gotta go to prison. So yeah. come back for that, guys. We love you. Thanks for hanging with us, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. What up? Hello, good morning. Welcome back to another vlog. My guy loves my open. So much. <laughs> I can tell. He looked at me like, oh no, here it comes. <laughs> we are packing our things up. In fact, they are packed up just over there. It is time to check out of this fabulous hotel. Dude, has this hotel been pretty dope? It's been so awesome. Not just the hotel, the accommodations, it's proximity to all of the things that we wanted to do, but the staff here, fantastic. So nice. It's been a first class experience from start to finish. Speaking of first class, we will be boarding a plane heading back home today. Once again, check it out that first class. Oh yeah. <laughs> pretty excited about that. But before we leave, there are a few things that we need to take care of. Number one, I think we're gonna go maybe find something to eat because we need some breakfast. Yeah. That's important. You gotta feed your body. Number two, we gotta grab some soupies for everybody. Wouldn't be a good trip if we didn't come back with soupies for those who couldn't participate in the trip. So we're gonna get some stuff. We got some things in mind for everybody. Oh God. <laughs> stuff we have in mind for the kids is awesome. And I think mom's gonna hate us, but they're so cool. Rye guy's got some stuff he's got his eye on. Of course, he already picked up a little bit of soupie shopping yesterday at the Supreme Store. If you guys didn't see that video, we had so much fun running it here in San Francisco. Full day of fun doing everything San Fran. So go check that out. The big thing on tap today before we head to the airport, before we leave and head out of town back to Utah. So we're sending I got a jail. <laughs> no, we are gonna go on a ferry ride out to Alcatraz Island, guys, home of some of the most hardened criminals in US history. I don't know if that's true, but I know that it was an island prison that was really hard to escape from because there was like sharks and stuff all around it. Yeah. And it's on an island. But we're gonna go check it out. And I believe they just opened up the inside like audio tours again so we can go inside the jail. We're gonna go inside Alcatraz, walk around, explore the entire thing. They tell us to plan on like a three hour adventure. So that is Whoa. a lot of our day today. We're gonna be doing that. To start things off, we're gonna go out, grab something to eat, maybe do some sushi shopping, hit Alcatraz, and then we have time to head to the airport and head back home. Yep. Just 
Lord of the Ferry. We were one of the first ones on, so we got to come all the way to the top. Outside view, we've got a spectacular view as we sail across whatever this is. I don't know what this is. The harbor, the bay. The bay, that's why it's called the bay. Right? Sailing across the bay to Alcatraz Island right now, dude. We have arrived on The Rock. That's what they call this place, The Rock, the Rock. on Alcatraz Island. This is the watchtower up here, you guys, where they would watch. Now, nobody's escaping this place. I don't think anybody can get out of here. We're not sure if we're supposed to be just walking off, though, because everybody's back there listening to like this little spiel, but I think you can just go do your own thing. So we're gonna go do our own thing right now. Instead of getting to the top of the island where the prison is actually located, is like climbing a 13-story building that sits high above. But I wanna make sure we're going the right way. I didn't see any other way to go. I don't wanna like get lost up here. Do you believe we can go inside the prison, take a walking tour inside the prison? So that's what we're trying to get up and do right now you guys. We are going into the prison right now. I believe this is the entrance. You can download this oh, audio wow. tour. Okay, we're going in right now. So our guy said he wants to make up our own story. So we're gonna pretend we know who was in each cell and what they were there for. Right. audio tour here you take these things and it walks you through the cells and then it will tell you like what they had to bring what they were allowed to have the cells are so small this is crazy there's like a tiny bed in there and a toilet and that's it and oh by the way it's wide open Just consider that when you go to the bathroom one of the things that's cool is that the people giving the tour are former prison guards and prisoners this is very authentic very cool Yard. This is where they would play physical fitness exercise. I don't know what, it's just a giant slab of pigeon poo. But this is where they would hang out and do rec time if they earned it. Look, they got like a shuffleboard thing right here. We are now, as part of the tour, we walk across this yard. Out in the open, you've got the Alcatraz prison behind you. We're headed to a cell door down here. Got a big water tower right here. This tour is so rad, dude. Are you loving this, bro? This is so cool. <laughs> These are the isolation cells, so they said they'd put them in here. They turn off the lights. Shut this big, thick, heavy door and turn off the lights, bro, so it was pitch black in there. That would be sketchy. Coming out of isolation, congratulations to you. the cells are open and so you can get in them and mess around. This is a jail cell. I am at the absolute edge of it right here. This is the back side of it right here. You've got your toilet, your sink. They had a bed. It'd just be right there on the floor. You've got your shelves. I don't know what this is. A couple of benches. Maybe it's like a desk. I don't know, bro. This is Alcatraz life right here, bro. Oh, this is pretty awesome. And one thing that I've noticed is that all of the ceilings are like crazy low. So like the cell doors, I have to duck in and out of when I come through. So very, very low. Probably just one, they didn't want to build it to be convenient. It wasn't supposed to be something comfortable at all. It was yeah. supposed to be miserable. And then I just wonder if maybe they didn't have a lot of tall criminals. I don't know. <laughs> We were looking for the spot where they tried to do an escape. And this is like legit where it happened right here. Tunneled through this. It would get spoons and they tunneled through the freaking concrete. I don't know how you would do that. So then the plan was once they got through the wall, shimmied up some pipes on the inside of the prison, out the roof, and then down the outside of the prison wall. And that actually happened, guys. And these are the three cells that it happened in. They actually put these creepy paper mache heads in there too to look like they were in their cell. Wrapping up our tour here. This was totally rad. I love being able to listen to the audio tour to get some of the behind the scenes on the stuff. We also just kind of spun off and did our own thing for a minute, but that was absolutely awesome. This is a very surreal thing to be oh, up so in here. Cool. To think that this was actually the home to prison, that these cells were full of people is a totally unreal vibe. Now we're just trying to find the exit. I don't know if they're gonna keep us here or...
We are leaving the rock. You can see it right there behind us. We are taking off. That's a dope shot, actually. So we saw all the great stuff. Now, we might have been confusing. We said we were going to do souvenir shopping and we'll get something to eat. Well, found out they're supposed to get to the tour 45 minutes early so you can yeah. get on. That's how we're able to get those prime seats. But we went straight to the ferry boat, came straight here to Alcatraz. Now it's time to go grab something to eat because we are hungry. Grab some souvies and then it's time to head back home. But I think this is the coolest yeah. way to finish off this trip, dude. This, this is so cool. super high on my guys' list. He really wanted to see Alcatraz. His friend had been out here and seen it. She said it was amazing. Said yeah. you got to do it. Something that we wanted to knock off our list for sure before we went out of town. When we came here last night for dinner at the Fisherman's Wharf Pier 39, right, guys, saw these bacon-wrapped hot dogs that they're selling with the vendors. Seems to be the thing because every vendor has one. He's like, I have not got that off my mind since walking by it. I want one of those bacon-wrapped hot dogs, so he's throwing down. How is it, bro, finally having one? So good. <laughs> okay, so authentic bacon-wrapped hot dog right here on Pier 39. Doesn't get better than that. That's what we're having for our lunch. Hopefully, that stays in you throughout our flight home because that could be an interesting flight home. <laughs> but we got our eyes on a couple souvenirs here. We're going to eat, grab some stuff, and then I think it's almost time to head to the airport. have walked souvenir row we picked out the perfect souvenirs for the kids but we're gonna have to show you that in an upcoming video because we're gonna do a little souvenir haul with the kids as we get home now it's off to finish off with a nice delicious shake at Ghirardelli Square pick up mom a little something special and then head to the airport we've had a perfect last day here the Sun is out it's bright it's shining you got so much fun going on here in the streets because it is Sunday so it's slammed out here so many street performers so many people just a full festive vibe out here and honestly too warm for these jackets yeah So we hit Ghirardelli Square. We got souvenirs for everybody. We've done everything that we could possibly do here. We were even thinking we got an extra hour. We don't even know what we would do if we had an extra day. So I think we ran it hard in San yeah. Francisco, bro. The trip of a lifetime. It's sadly come to an end. Time to head to the airport. That doesn't mean we don't have a little more time left in the convertible, bro. Oh yeah. <laughs> Guy. Oh shoot, we're gonna miss our flight! Shoot! Woo! <laughs> wow! Doggy! <laughs> Just kidding, we're way early, we're good. <laughs> We have arrived at SFO San Francisco International Airport and we are totally dark. We are just headed now to our plane, to the gate, ready to head out of here. Now we had the sweetest surprise. Michelle, a follower of ours, surprised us as we dropped off our rental car. Gave Raga a happy birthday balloon, keychains for the kids. It was the sweetest thing, a nice sign. So nice. It was the perfect way to end the perfect trip. I thought that was the nicest thing. We just got off, uh, got up to security, you guys saw. We were right at the pre-check, we were ready to go in. You may have noticed though, when we boarded the train, there was a backpack on our guy's back. As we walked through the airport and into pre-check, there was no backpack. He accidentally left it on the train, so a lot to manage. He's been very helpful. He's taken my bag for me so that I can video sometimes. My shoulder hurts, so he takes my other bag for me. So he's got a lot that he's managing and juggling and left the backpack on the train. So we've contacted San Francisco police. They've been alerted. They're on it. In the meantime, while they're searching the different trains, we're going to wait here. We're going to see if it just comes back around. So that's like a full loop. It takes a while to do the loop, but we're here in plenty of time, so we may get lucky. Because I do video everything, though, I know exactly what train it was on. We know yeah. it's on train three. Blue train three. So we just have to find that train and we know that's where it should be. All right, go, 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 go. Hang on. This is three, bro. This is three. Holy freaking sheesh, beast, bro. Let's go. Woo! That's what I'm talking about, baby. It was car three, just like we knew. Let's go. Dude. Oh my gosh. That was a freaking rush, bro. Ow. Faster than the police got how? on it too. Not bad, not bad. I don't even know how to tell you or explain what a rush that was to Holy walk in there crap. to see that backpack. Rock I only checked like maybe four trains, right? Yeah. Like three or four. And then we saw, oh, we went back and watched the footage. We saw the number three as he walked on. So we knew the train would have a number three on it. Sure enough, that train pulled in. It was the front car, even though we got off the back yeah. car. So somehow that gets twisted around on its loop back towards us. And I walked in and saw it sitting right there in an empty car all by itself. What a rush, dude. Holy crap. And because we came to the airport a little bit early, we still have plenty of time. So now we're going to go back through TSA and get on our plane. Yep. And we got the backpack this time.
about to board the flight, headed home. Just heard from mom that she's been home with Maddie, you guys. I don't know yeah. if she's videoing into that or just enjoying it, what they're doing, but they had Sunday dinner with Maddie and Lucky. then went on a fun walk and we're like, what? All these great things happening while we're gone. If you haven't seen our Insta stories at This Is How We Bingham, there's been so many fun things going on at the house. They went to Park City, they went down the Alpine side, the Alpine Coast, they went to like a water park, indoor swimming pool thing. Meanwhile, we're just here having the time of our lives in San Francisco, saying goodbye to the city. We've loved Raga. Have you had a good trip? Oh yes, it's been so fun. He's been so gracious the entire time, you guys. Thank you for every little snack that we get along the way. We've had so many fun things happen. Even when we had to call the airport police and yeah, have them track down so his bag, fun. and then we found it before they did, which was a savage boss move on Raga's part. He said, I just have a feeling that if I go up there, I could get it back myself. Yeah, I'm glad I did. I'm glad you did too, dude. All is restored. Get on the plane, loading up, heading home right now. And this has been an amazing trip, one that we'll never forget. Yeah. Right, it's not a convertible, but it's still pretty sick, dude. All right, I know you Built love that tough. convertible life, but I like being able to see. It was so hard for <laughs> me in the like convertible you. to see because you're so low to the ground. So I like the Silverback's height. We are officially home, back in Utah, and surprisingly, I guess it's not surprising, but it is so much warmer here yeah. than it was in San Francisco. It's like it was 75, and it's 10:30 at night, and it never hit even the 70s yeah. when we were in San Francisco. Time to get in the Silverback. We're loaded up. We're ready to head home. It is 10:35 p.m., guys. That is 10:30 at night on a school night, son. You need to get yourself to bed. We need to get you to bed. The party's over. The vacation. Over, it's time to get home. Let's get home. I don't even know if mom's waiting up for us. I'm not gonna yeah. close the vlog yet, just in case she is home so she can close it with us. But she might be in bed, so we'll yeah. see. We're home, we've made it. We're back with mom. I'm back with my Rai guy and my guys, you. And me. Guys, we're just sharing some stories here with mom. And guys, I forgot to explain why we had to call the police. That seems extreme oh, yeah. to call the police yeah. because of a backpack that was left on a train. But I actually was told by TSA to go to the information desk, see if they had any contact there who we could get in touch with. I called the information phone number. They said, you need to call the airport police. And I was like, did you hear what I just said? I just said he left his backpack on a train. I don't think the police need to get involved. They said, no, that's who you need to call. So when I called the number sure enough it was the airport police I told them the whole story I said I feel like this might be a little extreme for you guys is this the right place I know this is exactly who you need to call we will get on that for you right away in the end that's why we called the police I don't think we explained that so it probably sounded like I was like oh my gosh you forgot your backpack call the police and I just got a text message from Brandon that says we just had the craziest thing happen the airport police were called but we're fine I'll tell you when we get home <laughs> so we'll explain the rest when we get home you cannot do that to a mom <laughs> but I did say everything's cool I just want to leave you hanging because Raga wants to tell you in person just shared the story with mom we are back home now, about to get some rest in our own beds. Back to normal life, Rekha. You got school tomorrow, bro. Oh, so you, you need to get to bed. school in about eight hours. You have school in a few hours. So get to bed, get some rest. I'm going to do the same. Great to be home. Always feels good I'm to make so it back home. I'm so happy to have you home. And I bet mom's glad to have you back. Thanks for hanging out with them today, you guys. We sure miss you. We'll be back tomorrow. Thanks for hanging out, and we'll see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Bye. See ya. Oh,